Hello everyone, this is Robeck here, aka DJ The Chaos for the blog Dance Music for Everyone. Blogspot.com, and today I'm reviewing this software called Mix. This software is pretty much like Virtual DJ or Tractor with the main advantage of being free and open source. Uh, this means that uh, you can use this software on Windows, Linux and Mac without paying nothing for it and with a big open source community working to improve and fix every bug that you may find. So uh, if you're familiar with Virtual DJ or Tractor this is very similar to them so you have your both uh, your, your two tracks uh, you have the play pause button, you have your Q button, so you have uh, here your pitch, so you can just uh, uh, increase or decrease the the speed of the song. You have here your individual uh, fader for the volume, you have uh, here the cross fader, the low, mid and track and treble high faders you can you have kills on uh, all three of them so this is a pretty basic uh, DJ software you can just make loops or you can define hot cues to four hot cues you can fast forward so this is pretty much the same interface as Virtual DJ or Tractor. Um, so some stuff that I want to go through with in this revision. Um, I don't really like these waveforms of two tracks being separated uh, because you can just don't you, you can't match them visually as good as you wish. I prefer the Virtual DJ style that you have both of them. Uh, simultaneously together so uh, this can be fixed by going to options preferences interface this is not in Portuguese but this is the skin and you change the skin to late night and this way you can just check them together it's better for uh, matching them visually and ensure that they are correct so um, one of the things that I that I think it's missing here and I hope they can fix it soon as you can't zoom the waveforms of the, the songs like you can in Virtual DJ. Sometimes this is useful to see some details in the waveforms that can be useful for bit matching uh, but it's just uh, in my opinion. So next stuff I want to uh, talk about is um, the FEX buttons that exist here. I don't see any effects to use. I don't know how to use them if they exist. So uh, I I really think that they have here the FEX buttons, but they don't have any built-in built-in effect in this software. So that's uh, that's a minus one, and I hope they they fix that soon. Um, another thing that I noticed th is that the the sync button that they have present here, it's not that good because it's it mainly syncs up the the BPM uh, of the songs, but since they are not analyzing correctly the song, uh, you you don't get a uh, very good sync between the songs you can't do just like you do in virtual dj that you hit sync button and just pretty much sync then you just get it to play i, I already uh, changed uh, some stuff here mainly in the bpm of the song so i'm gonna reload them again so you can see uh, that they are not uh, as good as they should uh... okay just So as you can see, I just reload the songs, and they are not well detect detecting the the bass beats in the songs. Uh, so in Virtual DJ, you just get the two songs to the beginning, and you just start playing one, and you can just start playing the other. For beat loop, beat sync, and they are pretty much well synced up. So you can just have this playing without the people noticing that they are like, uh, so, 
here in mix if you do that it will not sound as good as it should so we'll start playing one start playing the second and they are completely off so uh, a solution to that is just before you put any song to play you can just sync them sync uh, that song up manually say uh, this means you're gonna say to the program where is the beat in the song so you can just I'm not as accurate as I should it's good enough in this one so let's just do that here Okay, sorry. Okay, it's not not bad at all. So let's just uh, put it to the beginning. Let's put this one to play. Put this one to play too. Put the C button. And it's not so bad after all. But you have to do this manually. Mix is not detecting the beats in your song as well as it should. But as you can see, it works. It's not a lot of time to put it to work. So let's uh, move on to the the next thing that I want to talk about. The sampler here it's slightly different from Virtual DJ, but is also cool. So in Virtual DJ, in sampler you have a place where you can add a song or record the song that is playing and you have a volume and you can put it to repeat or not and pretty much it here you uh, as long as I know you cannot record what is playing which is bad but you can add uh, here uh, full tracks or just uh, samples and you can act here as it if it was another player which is means is you have a song here playing you can um, change this pitch you can change this volume and you have four hot cues then you can use to sample this song so it's not it's not the same but you can do really cool stuff with this or you can just hold a uh, one second sample like I did here and create something cool with it like understand what I mean so it acts differently from the virtual DJ sampler but is it's also cool it's different but is also uh, really good so and for the last I want to show you a feature that I found here that I think virtual DJ doesn't have and it really surprised me um, it is the auto DJ this auto DJ uh, is is a place where you can add as many tracks as you want, and you just hit activate auto DJ, and will just mix them for you. This is of course not good for for playing a set in a, in a in a disco or in a club because it's not going to mix as well as it should, and not gonna apply effects. But if you are in that in that phase before the music going going loud in the in the club where you're just um, opening the the um, the place the playing some chill out music some ambience music you can just add here some songs and it will do the thing for you for instance I had two uh, two radio songs uh, that pl that can play easily to opening the space they are uh, calm songs and I want to hit activate auto DJ 
and he's going to just do the job for me. I'm gonna step up to the end so they don't have to appear at all song. So imagine that this song is finishing notice that in this song is not in this deck is not even all the the next song but when he thinks that the music is finishing he will hold up the song and fade in the next song. So as you can see it wasn't really uh, it wasn't bad at all, it was really normal transition between two calm songs. And this can be really useful uh, to take some time for you to prepare the real set and just leave this playing for the people to chill out before going to dance so I don't know if it works really cool really good with all the songs I just tested with a few wasn't wasn't bad at all but uh, I think he's detecting really good really well the part when he should start fading in the next song and fading out the current song so pretty much uh, this is a, a really good software for a free software um, uh, and I only have some stuff to point that I think the, um, the community developing mix should, uh, should get better that is the, the sync function it is a, a really important function in this kind of software because it's really used for DJs if they are using a DJ software they gotta get some benefits from that one of them is don't have to sync every song um, from scratch zero and they have some help uh, the other part is the zoom uh, in the wave <coughs> form of the song is not really important but it's it's cool sometimes uh, the effects that uh, they are they are also important in this kind of software and I'm not seeing them working here and the record in the sample sometimes is good to can to be able to record some parts of the song to just mash up in the next song uh, but uh, in overall this is a really good software and I will do next video on this using a MIDI controller uh, I have uh, Hercules DJ console MK2 and it's well detected here and they have also a built-in map for that console uh, it's not fully complete but I will talk about that in the next video and basically if you don't have money to afford tractor or virtual DJ if you want to start DJing uh, this could be a really good option and uh, comparing to the virtual DJ free for instance here you are able to use MIDI controllers and in the Virtual DJ Free you can only use them for 30 seconds I, I think so uh, if you don't know this just download it it's free it's here on uh, mix.org uh, um, and you have here a wiki with all the help that you can uh, need and you can send them suggestions or bug reports so just check it out and I hope you like it.